has reached nearly every nook and corner. Today using internet on computer is a way of life for the present generation. Pretty soon this will replace school bag for children. The application of this tool is vast and continues to improve. You can practically do anything using this tool. It can help you in your school projects, finding a recipe for your mother, communicate with people through email and chat, help your dad in booking tickets for your holiday. You are using Facebook and Twitter to connect and voice your opinions, checking weather in London to ensure your dad's flight is not delayed, hearing breaking news immediately, listen to songs, watch movie previews on YouTube, play games, your list is endless. However, your parents may, may not use the computer and will look up to you for help. Now this sure makes you very smart. But slow down kiddo. There are certain ground rules you need to know, understand and follow strictly. Today the topic we are discussing is internet safety. The internet allows you to be exposed to a lot of scary stuff unknown to you. Remember your childhood's first lesson, stranger spells danger. This warning holds true on computers. Now you will think I am being silly, but a lot of cyber crime has taken place due to ignorance. There are a lot of cyber stalkers, criminals hiding behind to take advantage of innocent users. They pose as different people. There could be a 45 year old man posing as a 12 year old Rahul or Tina. There is no way to verify the identity of the person you meet through Facebook, chat rooms, BBM. You can only be certain of your friends and personal contacts. While computers are fun, they are dangerous, so follow basic rules. Use a nickname which does not give away your identity. Do not give your name, school name, your address, mobile number, phone number or any other family information. Simple chat statements made inadvertently provide vital information about you and your family. For example, I am going with my sister to Eros to watch Spider-Man. My dad bought a new Honda City. I am home alone today. I just ordered pizza from Pizza Hut. I got a Blackberry. My sister is in JJ School of Architecture. These innocent, inane conversations can be dangerous, so be warned as they lead you to divulge more information without realizing the potential threat that could be lurking. The clock is ticking. You are waiting for your friend you made last week through chat. You enjoyed your chat. It went on for hours. They know all the tricks of the game. Next, they will not show up as decided and make you restless and desperate. This is a warning sign. Beware and be aloof or ignore him, stroke her. This is the time to stop. You cannot trust the online stranger. Chat rooms pose danger as they lure you to talk for hours. It becomes addictive as well as fun. So know when to stop. The chat room provides you your very own private space. The whole new language that can be used indiscriminately. You have your special friends, but again be warned. However happy you are chatting with Rahul or Tina, you really don't know them. Remember that it's just inane time pass and be careful of not revealing your true identity in spite of. I love you. I miss you. I could not sleep thinking of you. You know the list better than me. Chat with only known friends. Web cameras are a big no. They could be taping you, so be warned. Taking gifts from strangers is again a no. On social networking sites like Facebook, set your privacy level. Never open unknown email or link as they may have malicious virus corrupting your computer. Do not complete profiles on instant messaging and emails. Do not enter contests without checking up with your parents. Never swipe a credit card online unsupervised. Winning lottery are bogus scams. Digital camera, Samsung mobile, notebook for 99 are just to be ignored. Finally, meeting your unverified internet friend 
is an absolute no, never ever. Mm -hmm.